News journalist Joy Doreen Bira, along with, her, uh, with the king of Ruenzururu in western Uganda, are among those being detained by police over clashes between police and militia in 55 people were killed. Joy Doreen, together with her, with her fiancé, were allegedly picked up from her home in Kasese by uniformed men yesterday evening and has not been traced up to now. She was allegedly detained over her social media posts on the violence between the Kingdom of Loyalists and National Government Forces. The King Charles Wesley Mumbere is accused of inciting violence after militia reportedly attacked a police post in his hometown of Kasese. Security forces stormed his palace amid claims he was harboring fighters. The king has denied any involvement. A Ugandan government spokesman accused the militia of seeking to break away from Uganda. And we are now joined by Nicholas Opio from the Law Society of Uganda. Good morning and thank you for joining us, Nicholas. And uh, just following up, first of all, on the arrest of Joy Doreen Bera, amongst others, on what we know so far. Thank you very much for having me. Um, I just came back from the Western Uganda district of Katesha yesterday in the night. Um, there had been lots of clashes in Cassis uh, beginning Friday with uh, armed personnel storming the uh, offices of the cultural leader of the ethnic group in that part of the country. Then um, several people were arrested, several people were killed. Um, this happened in broad daylight. Um, when we left Cassis town yesterday, it was a bit calm, uh, a bit deserted. There were people... Uh, in small groups and whispering and wondering what was happening. Um, in the night, last night, uh, news uh, was delivered to us by Joy's mother of Joy's arrest. So Joy and her fiancé and two of their colleagues uh, had gone to visit one of their uncles who lives uh, in, the, in the same district, in the same town. And uh, when they were in there, a group of soldiers stormed the house and claimed that they were taking pictures and uh, arrested Joy. And as we speak now, Joy is being detained at uh, a police station in Katesa town. This morning, I did speak to the DPC of the, of the area, the district police commandant, who told me that uh, Joy will be released uh, this morning uh, because uh, she's innocent. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case, so I'm driving right now to go back to Katesa and, and, and try and secure the release of Joy Doreen Beer. All right. That part of the country remains tense, mm -hmm. remains very tense. Uh, there's lots of uh, reported cases of killings by both government forces and tribal militias. Uh, Nicholas, has anybody been able to uh, get direct contact with Joy Doreen just to establish that she's okay? Her phones have been confiscated, so we're only able to speak to her mother and parts of her family and uh, to speak to the authorities. Uh, her mother doesn't even know where Joy is being detained, uh -huh. but the authorities tell us that Joy is being detained at the police station in Kaseta district itself. Uh -huh. uh, but she's in good health. Uh, she's, she's fine. Um, I, I, I hope that that is accurate. Um, so we'll find that out in the next couple of hours when I arrive in Kaseta town. All right. And is that normal practice in Uganda for somebody to be arrested and the immediate family is not aware where they are? Well, in situations such as that, which is happening in Kasese, the government forces have been acting with impunity, really. Um, they are very sensitive to anybody who might have contact with the media or who might take pictures of what is happening. So it is common practice in such situations in Uganda for the army and the police to act with, uh, with uh, a lot of force and without any restraint whatsoever. Mm. All right. And uh, generally, what's the situation in Kasese right now as we continue to wait on uh, 